Welcome to Red Cheating Stories. My name is Shada Abasi. And today I'm going to share a story of a person whose name is Leo. Leo is a 35 years old boy. But before moving towards his story, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please go ahead and press the bell icon after subscribing to our channel. So Leo says that I was a rapper and married to a girl whose name was Casey for long four years. We love each other so much. Everything is fine. We are happy, not fully, but yes, life is going well. But there was one problem. We didn't have any children yet and I hated thinking about it because I was so fond of children like so much. I wanted at least seven to eight children. Let me tell you all that my beautiful wife and I were of black descent and my wife was very beautiful. She was black, but still she looked very, very attractive. I fell in love with her but she said she didn't love me, but I almost begged her to be my wife and I repeatedly blogged her away, you know, calling her and finally, she became friends with me, but she was very worried. I asked her what was the matter. And she said that I have a loan that I took to study because I couldn't work and study. At the same time, it was very difficult. But now I have to return that money. I asked her how much money she said that it was $6,000. I said it's not a big deal. I will give you the money. She was shocked. I said yes. But she said, I can't take money from you. I told her that we are friends and nothing else. After that, our friendship grew even more. Then one day I proposed to her in front of all of my friends. She said yes, that was, that was one good thing, you know, to celebrate for. But ever since we got married, we had a lot of fights with each other. We used to start curling over small things and it would reach the last point. We didn't share any of our thoughts. She even used to say that I will leave you. And I used to tell her that of course you can go and I don't need you. I will not die without using your knot. She wanted to hurt me badly, you know, and I didn't know why, but she didn't show any mercy and nor do I. But when it's the night, we both actually cry in each other's arms and say we can't stay away from each other. Maybe it was a strong love sentiment and maybe the lust of each other. So, our relationship was very strange. We used to quarrel with each other a lot, but we couldn't live without each other. People used to tell us that we should have a child after that relationship will be stronger and then you two will be together. If there are children in the house, then the mind of a person will not even argue, it's lead. You know. So I was just wanting a little baby boy for us, the little actions, little things they make you feel good and your life becomes beautiful, was fond of children. And I had already told my wife that I want to have at least five or six children. Thankfully, she didn't say that I didn't have that much, you know, children because she was too fond of children as well. But we were not having children. When my wife used to argue with me, she used to say the same thing. I didn't want to marry you. But you proposed to me in front of everyone and everyone knew that you were very kind to me. So she did so much, you know, in front of everyone. But when I asked her to marry me, it was not good to break my heart at all. You know, because no one helped her when she needed the money and she was very thankful to me. I was under the pressure of her kindness. You know, that's why she had to say yes. I felt the worst thing was that she didn't come into my life willingly. She came under some pressure. But later she used to say that I got it from me. It's nothing like that. I love her so much. Sometimes her words made me feel like she really loves me a lot and sometimes it seems like she is just spending time with me. She doesn't love me. And if she does, that's under some kind of compulsion. The doctor didn't tell us that there is any problem with my wife or there is any problem. You know, with me, the doctor said that you guys should wait because both of you are perfectly fine. That's why we didn't fight on this topic. But our fights never ended. It seemed that we will not be together for the rest of our lives. But then we became very close every night. I must say that as a wife and a husband, we are not good, but as a partner, 
We are very good and we enjoy our sex together, but we are not enjoying our life. One day we had a big fight. I was about to raise my hands on my wife but stopped. My wife was also surprised. He said if you had done this, I would have called the police. Who are you to be? Who the fuck are you? I immediately got embarrassed and said I wasn't going to hit you. I was just too angry. Why are you talking like that? I didn't want to fight with, you know, with her anymore. That's why I left the house. But when I returned home, I was shocked to see the scene in front of me. My wife was lying unconscious on the ground. I don't know how long she was unconscious. I was worried about her a lot. No matter how much we called with each other, we could never think bad of each other. She was my wife and I loved her. I immediately took her to the hospital and the doctor checked her and did some tests. Also, I was thinking that maybe the doctor will give me the bad news today. But it was not like that the doctor gave me some great news. My wife did not take poison in anger. She was very emotional, but the doctor gave me a very good news. He said that my wife is pregnant. Now she's going to be a mother. I was shocked when I told this to my wife. She was also very happy because before that she was unconscious and she didn't know what happened to her. She said that I felt dizzy all of a sudden and I fainted. We were very happy. We couldn't believe it. The doctor said that you guys are in your seventh week after that, we were sure that it was true. And the doctor also said that after two or three weeks, you have to visit again. We guys had some friends of ours and my dad was still alive. We told them this news. They were also very happy. After that, we started planning that we will have a baby shower, we will have a gender-related party. My wife was saying that she will do a lot of shopping. I said that there is no problem but my wife's health was very bad. We did not know what happens to a woman when a child is born. So I was worried again and again, after two weeks, she was taken to the doctors. The doctors said that you are having twins. That's why your wife's condition is getting worse because it is not easy to carry two children together. But we were glad that we waited so long and that wait was not in vain. I was so happy because it was worth the wait. You know, because we were having two children at once, I had to double shop and every time I had to be you, we became even happier. I used to let my wife rest all day. I hired a maid. She also did housework and took care of her because I also had a lot of work. But whenever I was at home, I took care of my wife. During those days, our love grew a lot. Our friends said that everything will be fine when the baby comes. We had not, you know, fight, we didn't had a fight in a very long time. Now, you know, he had not come into the world, but still there was so much love growing between us. After some time, we came to know that we are going to have two daughters and two sons or one daughter or one son. You know, because my wife was in her fifth month, the doctor didn't tell us what was going to happen but said that everything will be fine. After that our friends had a gender real party for us. That day was the best day of my life. It was the most beautiful day of my life. In fact, friends did so much for us. We were very grateful. It was a beautiful party and then we were very happy to know that we are going to be the parents of two children and those were sons. There were tears in our eyes. We were very happy that we are going to have two sons because I wanted a son. But the doctor also said that my wife will not have a normal delivery. And I was a bit worried that she will have an operation, but the doctor said that nothing will happen. Everything will be fine. Since sometimes women have an operation that's called C-section, we were told that the dates are closed. We had already made all the preparations because it was planned. Everything was already told by the doctor that on this date you will come. And the day of the operation was June 12th. We were very happy. We reached to the hospital and took my wife in. I was also there but very nervous when the operation was done and the children came into this world. We were all shocked. But at that time, I did not say anything but I was not happy but rather surprised because something so big and strange had happened. I was shocked and my wife was looking very embarrassed. 
Even the doctors are a little confused and strangely looking at us. What was happened is not normal at all. I do not want to create a scene at the hospital. That's why I was quiet. My wife is not. Well, I still care for her because I'm not a bad person but it could not be ignored the ground that came out under my feet to see that one son had taken the feature and skin of me and my wife. He was also black, but the other child did not see to be her offspring. But he seemed to be an offspring of a white person who was not both of us. He seemed to be the child of an American. He was white and had blue eyes. The hospital staff was also surprised people were talking to each other but they felt that maybe we have a relative to whom this child has gone. You know, and that's why they didn't talk much. My wife was kept for three days and I didn't talk to my wife properly. After that, we were sent home and a maid was already hired to take care of each of my wife and the children and everything. You know, and the two kids, my wife couldn't take care of them alone. You know, I asked the wife, what is all this? And she said that this is the birth of two children. You should be happy. I said that one child is mine, but the other child is not mine. My wife said you are crazy. It is your child. And maybe there is someone in their family to whom the child has gone. But there was no such person in my family. I knew it very well. When I told my wife, she said at this, that some people in their family, they are American and my relatives are married to them. I asked her to introduce me to them, tell me who they are. And if they are very those relatives, this my wife said that my health is bad and don't bother me. But I suspected that there must be something wrong. That's why I thought that I will do a DNA test of the children. It was not a small matter even if we are silent. Now tomorrow it will start bothering us again. People would ask again and again, if the child is yours, why doesn't it look like you? I didn't know. You tell me, you tell me things, you know, and put things into my child's mind. If he was my child, I should have the exact replica of him. I didn't do the test without telling my wife, you know, I took the children to the hospital and the pretext of getting the children checked. My wife was unwell. She didn't go along. Their DNA test was done. And the doctor said that you will get report. After two days, I asked the doctor if this can happen. And he said that if you are the father or your wife's father or either of your mother's is white English, then it can happen if it is not, then it cannot happen. I told the doctor that this is not the case. Both my parents are black and also my wife's parents are black. He said, then there must be something wrong when the DNA report came out. I was surprised because according to the report, one child was mine, but the other child was not mine. The child was the son of a friend of my wife's with whom he had an affair and had physical relations. And both of us at the same time, which made her pregnant like that one child was mine and one was this man. You know, I was very worried. I was. I was very surprised I did not understand what the fuck happened. Why she did this to me. After I showed the report to my wife, she was shocked. But before showing the report, she was saying that there is nothing like that. I have not done anything. I am total with you. But when I showed her the report, she became silent. After that, she had nothing to say. She agreed. Yes, I had an affair with someone but I didn't know that it will happen. Because when I spent time with you, I was sure that it was you who got me pregnant, but maybe I got pregnant from him too. The doctor was also shocked, but she said that it can happen. You know, the cases are very rare and some reports have came before. So this report is correct. I said to my wife, why did you do this to me? She said I have told you before that I married you under compulsion. It was just one night I was at a party with my friends and I met that guy. He was very white. He had blue eyes. I liked him and just us for a while. So we were seduced. But it was only once. That's why I didn't tell you. I thought we'd forget what happened because I've had a little drink and that person was also drunk, but we're not in a relationship or something. And you know, 
How did I know that something like this would happen if I came back from that party? You also got physical with me. Now, what should I do? How can I live with such a big reality? I will remember this again and again. Nothing will be the same again. But now I can't even remove you from my life. I wish my life was a movie, a drama in which I would throw you out. But it is also true that you are the mother of my child. And this other child is also not fought fault. You know, so contact his father in some way if he wants to accept him, that I have no problem. My wife said that I don't even know the name of this person. And we guys were dancing like this and got carried away while dancing after the club, we went to the room and we got physical with each other. Then he went his way and I went my way. I regretted it later. I didn't want to do it, but maybe I was deprived of it. I married you under compulsion. That's why this deviation made me commit to this sin. Forgive me. I didn't want to do it. I always wanted to have children. Now we have two children. We will have them together. So I will never give you a chance to complain. I considered my wife's first and last mistake. I forgave her even though I didn't expect myself to be able to forgive such a big thing. But I forgave her today. We live together and our children are two years old and my wife is pregnant again. She's going to be the mother of my daughter person. Can't forget such things. But this matter never speaks to me. But even now I do not quite.